Top 5, World's Most Powerful People 2018 To become powerful, you must have immense influence among the people. Forbes published a list of the prominent individuals in the world in 2018. The list has all types of characters from those who own business empires. Also, the politicians whose actions have had significant impacts. Vladimir Putin emerged position 1 as his rating continues to rise. President Obama's popularity has continued to diminish. This is his last term in office nears the end. Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi has found his way in the most popular persons. His reforms have transformed India in the two years he's been in power. Now, here is the list of the most influential people in 2018 according to Forbes. Before that make sure you subscribe Gideon Films Top 5 and press the bell icon so that you don't miss our upcoming videos. 5. Xi Jinping Born in 1953, Beijing, China, Jinping is the incumbent president of China. He is also the general secretary of the Communist Party of China. He also chairs the Central Military Commission. Xi Jinping is an ex officio member of the Politburo Standing Committee. The committee is a top decision-making body in China. Xi Jinping also chairs the newly formed National Security Commission. He is also the chair of other steering committees on economic and social reforms. Further, he is the chair in commissions for military reforms and the Internet. From 1999 to 2002, Xi Jinping served as governor of Fujian. Between 2002 and 2007, he served both as the party committee secretary. At the same time, he was the governor of Zhejiang. Xi Jinping has led an anti-corruption campaign. The campaigns resulted in the arrest of Su Keihao and Zhou Yongkong. He is a paramount leader and has become one of the most influential Chinese rulers. Xi Jinping has changed the thinking of the conservative Chinese through reforms. Additionally, he is bold enough to allow the media to capture some of his daily activities. During his leadership, China has investments in almost all part of the world. His meeting with the US and UK leaders led to business deals worth $46 billion. Four, Pope Francis He was born in 1936 in Argentina. But his parents named him Jorge Mario Bergoglio. His is the current Pope of the Roman Catholic Church. He became the 266th Pope in 2013 and the first from America. Pope Francis replaced Pope Benedict XVI after his resignation as Pope. Pope is the Bishop of Roman and the Sovereign of the Vatican City. From 1973 to 79, he served as Provincial Superior of the Society of Jesus in Argentina. Earlier, he was the Archbishop of Buenos Aires in 1998. The Pope has faced some accusations too. He gave for two of his priests to the national reorganization process during the Dirty War. Later, all allegations against him were removed. In 2001, John Paul II ordained him as a cardinal. Pope Francis' efforts to change the face of the Roman Catholic Church are notable. He attended Congress in the U.S. to address the issues of climate change and immigration. Also, he spoke about the fate of Christians and non-Christians suffering in the Middle East. He has also visited inmates in a Philadelphia. Also, he went to console the victims of priestly sexual abuse. He is humble and has great compassion for the poor. He also fights for human rights especially the women's rights. 3. Angela Merkel Angela Merkel ranked position 2 on Forbes. She is the most dominant woman in the world of 2018. Angela was born in 1954. 
she is the sitting Chancellor of Germany a position she has held since 2005. Merkel has been the leader of the Christian Democratic Union CDU, since 2000. She earned a doctorate in physical chemistry. During the revolutions of 1989, Merkel entered politics. She was also the deputy spokesperson for the East German government in 1990. In 1991, Merkel got elected as Minister for Women and Youth. The Chancellor then was Helmut Kohl. Later, in 1994, she became the Minister for the Environment. In 1998 after the defeat of Kohl, Merkel became the Secretary General of CDU. A donation scandal involving Wolfgang Schobel favored Merkel. She became the CDU first woman party leader. Merkel became chancellor upon appointed after the federal elections held in 2005. Again, she won the 2013 election by a landslide, having 41.5% of the votes cast. In 2007, Merkel became the second woman to become president of the European Council. Also, she was the chairperson of G8. Moreover, Merkel has played a critical role in negotiations regarding the Treaty of Lipson. What's more, the Berlin Declaration. Single-handedly, she has offered solutions to problems faced by her constituents. Merkel has managed to take her country through a recession. She provided credit facilities for those companies cutting hours for employees. She also convinced Greece and Spain to consider Germans' fiscal and legal logic. Germany ushered 2018 with a budget surplus of 12.1 billion euros. Recently, she opened the German borders. That would allow over 1 million immigrants from Syria and other Muslim nations. This humanitarian act has earned her accolades. 2. Donald J. Trump Donald Trump, a self-proclaimed real estate mogul and the 45th president of the United States was born in 1946 in Queens, New York. He was born into one of the wealthiest families at the time, and he began working with his dad, in the real estate business, from an early age. He learned so much about the real estate world from his father, and he later joined the Manhattan real estate world from where he expanded his investments throughout the world. Trump is actually the first, in US history, billionaire president. He, however, made it clear that he will be handing over the control of the businesses to his sons, Eric Trump and Donald Trump Jr. As of 2016, Trump's net worth was at $3.9 billion. He first hit a milestone by teaming up, in 1980, with Holiday Inn, Corp., though known by another name then. They developed a hotel and casino complex worth $250 million in Atlantic City that was named Harris situated in Trump Plaza. After some time, Trump bought these partners then renamed the property. He then proceeded to purchase another property, still in Atlantic City worth $320 million from Hilton Hotels. Trump is known for his daredevil spirit and his determination to succeed at whatever he started no matter the cost. This has seen him buy different properties all over the world and convert them to the most elegant properties on the market. He has had his downfalls yes due to economic and political changes, but this has never stopped him from investing and making more profits. Any ordinary person many view him as arrogant and an I don't care kind of a person, but economists love his spirit. His most vocal words as the 45th president of the USA is to make America great again, and everyone is waiting for this to happen. Before we go to number 1, make sure you subscribe our channel, and press the bell icon so that you don't miss our upcoming videos. 1. Vladimir Putin This is the man who does what he wants and gets away with impunity. He was ranked first by Forbes. Aged 63, Vladimir Putin is incumbent president of Russian Federation. Putin has been president since 2012. 
Before then, he was the Prime Minister between 1999 and 2000. He later became Prime Minister again from 2008 to 2012. He was the chair of the ruling party, United Russia as Prime Minister from 2008 to 2012. Between 1970 and 1975, Putin attended St. Petersburg State University where he studied law. He retired as a lieutenant colonel in to join politics in 1991 in his home St. Petersburg. In 1996, he moved to Moscow to join the administration of President Boris Yeltsin. He managed to rise quickly through the ranks to become the acting president in 1999. The following year, Putin won the election beating Gennady Zhuganov. In 2004, he won again with 72% of the votes. The economy of Russia grew for eight straight years under the presidency of Putin. Russia's economy started to experience difficulties following falling in prices of oil. Still due to the sanctions imposed by Western nations. The sanctions against Russia came about after his administration seized Crimea. Also, Russia got punished due to his military intervention in Ukraine. His approval ratings have not suffered any bit reaching an all-time high of 89%. He is also behind the bombing of ISIS. Later, he met with President Assad. The action appears to have made NATO and US seem weak. The influence of Russia has continued to rise abroad under his administration. If you like this video give a thumbs up and a comment below and please don't forget to subscribe our channel.